Hello and welcome everyone. Bird, as in bird spokes, have been in the news quite a bit lately, but uh, not many of us know that Bird actually produces wheels as well. What I have here for you guys today is the TR30. This is an old mountain wheel set. Let's take a closer look at it. And without making this a comprehensive video, I'm going to give you some information on the rims, a tiny bit about hubs, definitely spokes, and finally riding impressions. But first, let's take a look at the rims. You can see the bird logo here on the rims. However, the rims are not made by them. They are made by an undisclosed third party. And TR30 refers to the internal dimension of these rims. 30 millimeter ID. That information is usually specified here next to the valve, but in this case, they prefer to mention the 40 PSI's maximum pressure of the tire. Remember, that is a characteristic of the rim more than the tire. And the other thing is the patents. I assume these have to do with the ultra special spokes that they use. On their website, you're going to see that these rims are offset, even though they don't specify the offset. And they have a lot more options for us these days, from road to gravel, to trail, to all mountain, and even fat bike wheels are listed from them on the website. The finish of these rims is pretty interesting. It reminds me of the raw Yeti Arc. This seems to be just out of the mold with the sealant on top. That usually keeps the weight down because these are not painted. And if you look at this TR30 specific rim, the height of this is 25 millimeters. So that should make it pretty stiff vertically as opposed to the shallower rims that are more popular these days. All bird wheels use Industry 9 hubs and I did cover these in a recent video when I talked about high versus low engagement PoE hubs. These hubs, the Hydra, have 690 PoE, that's a ton. And in that video and in the comments, you can see a lot of the pros and cons for using such hubs. I think Bird considers the wheels to be high-end and that's the reason why they went with i9. But remember, you can get your custom wheel set built by them with their special spokes. And I would argue that the Bird Polylite Polymer spokes is what Bird is usually known for. These are very special because they are not made out of metal. This is a polymer. Again, you can call it shoelaces if you want to, but their qualities make them a very interesting alternative to the regular steel spokes. And one of those qualities has to be weight. These weight about 2.5 grams per spoke, as opposed to something like CX Ray from Sapim, that is two grams heavier per spoke compared to these. So building with these spokes makes for a really light wheel set. You can see this cross country wheel set from Bird at 1230 grams, but there's no free lunch and that weight saving comes with a bit more complication when it comes to building these wheels. Bird provides what's called a corner rounding tool to take the edge off of these spoke holes. Otherwise the spokes can get cut by the edge of that regular spoke hole and you're gonna use this tiny, tiny rod just to hold it in place. Otherwise, this looks just like a little loop. Polymer spoke looks like a double butted spoke and it finishes here with a metallic part. This is a 14 gauge or two millimeter and that's the type of nipples that you should be using with it. However, you need a special tool to hold on to the end when you're tightening the spokes. I have tried to use a blade spoke holder like this one from DT. And I think you can make it work, but they provide their own proprietary tool with the wheel set anyway. Then you cannot really use a regular nipple wrench like this, but you can buy the Bird proprietary tool or Park gives you an option as well. And we're not done yet. Because the material stretches quite a bit, it actually takes about two to five days for them to build one of these wheels because they have to build up the tension in these polymer spokes, but also allow them the time to stretch. Finally, in about six months from when they're built, these spokes are supposed to lose about 30% of their tension, again, due to stretching of the material, and that's gonna affect your lateral stiffness of the wheel. Bird mentions about 10% higher deflection side to side of the wheels in about six months. Something that you won't notice and it won't be the end of the world for most of us. 
one standard tool that you can use though is a spoke tension tool and they recommend about 12 to 15 here on the TM1 from Perk. For some reason this wheel set has slightly higher tension than that. I assume to make up that 30% loss of tension in six months. And another aspect of these spokes that is not that much talked about is the dampening effect compared to the steel counterparts. When I reviewed the Peacemaker, the Mullet Peacemaker, I did ride these wheels and let me tell you that I was impressed. And that wasn't just because the weight of this Mullet wheel set it's about 1460 grams which is definitely noticeable but it was also the dampening effect of these spokes. Wheels felt nice and stiff, tracked the terrain really well but again what was impressive for me was the lack of vibrations transferred to the bike by this wheel set. It's got to have something to do with the wheel set itself and not just the suspension of this bike. So overall pretty cool tech definitely for the spokes. Wheels are solid. I would highly recommend them if you're looking for a premium set of wheels but I'm very curious to hear your opinion. What do you think about the bird wheels? What about the bird spokes? Are you interested in getting anything like this? Do you have any questions for me? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, if you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.